Another business model that you can create is when you're offering your services online. And it can be anything. Because sometimes people think, hey, I can do this for another people, but it's simple for me, so I will do it for free. Why not ask money for it? Same with for music producer. If you can create something for someone, and if you see, okay, a lot of people want that, offer that as a server service so let's talk about it with the business model as you can see is the business model we talk about it in a lot of videos already so you're asking yourself okay what kind of service can i offer don't ask that because you're gonna do the same thing as everyone what you should ask yourself is hey who's in my community If you know who they are, you know what kind of question they have. Most of the time, if you have students in your in your community, they want to know, okay, how can I do this? Or if you have companies in your community, they want to know, hey, can I use this music? Uh, do I have to worry about copyright or other stuff? And you can be like, okay, you know what? I can create a lot of background music for you for a couple of um, bucks. And when you offer those kind of services you create those things and they pay you for it and they don't have to worry about copyright that's technically a thing that you can do as a music producer but most people don't think about that yeah you have to think of it like this companies they need to create videos and most time they order beats online they get the commercial license but if they want to do more they need to pay much more for the music some people can afford that some company no don't so think about it you can create music for companies and they can use it for background music or they can use it on the office. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be a popular music. It can be a music that you created, but you're not proud of it. But the company still want to use it as a background music. Something relaxed, something up. It depends what kind of company it is. Seriously. So you can offer those kind of things to companies. Let's say, hey, I can create this much music for you. You're going to pay me this much. Boom. You just do your work, you give them, and then done. You don't have to worry about it. Make sure you have a good contract. So customer can be companies, but can also be people in community that wants to have, uh, want to be, con let's say consultant. Let's say someone is trying to do something, but they do not know how to figure it out. You can consult them and they say, hey, listen, I can help you out for this much. And then you pay me. The thing is, let's say you'll be like, okay, I'm going to help you for 30 minutes. Doesn't mean you will solve the problem in 20, 30 minutes. What you can say is, I'm going to help you for this much. Pay me deposit. I'm going to help you. And afterwards, you're going to pay the other part of the deposit. That's technically how you need to see it. So value proposition, don't worry too much about that. Focus on, okay, who are in my community? Can I help them? And if you have companies, look at the problem and most of the time they need music background music and you can offer them let's say you are in a cafe they play uh, music from the radio the problem with that is they need to pay every time license to play those music it can be expensive if you can offer them another solution that can be cheaper and much it bring me bring them much more value why not so this is technically it if you look at the cost research cost going to be high because you do not know what they really need yet so those costs will be high but on the long term it's going to be low because you already established clients you're established what you can do and then you can get revenue so you're asking what is the revenue consultant um, selling digital um, products let's say music for the companies or selling your licenses that's technically it what you're going to do or who you're going to work to with it's up to you Hey, a resource that you need is up to you this part is strictly up to you but this is the most important part and this is the part where you can earn money the value proposition don't worry too much about it focus more on what do they really want your customer or people that want to become your customer if you do not know what they really want a tip that you can do is just go to Quera or other sites like Quera and then go there look for what people look up if they type music producer what kind of question they have if you can solve that you can get a lot of clients from that so keep that in mind so if you're new to this channel subscribe seriously subscribe already if you like this video like it i appreciate it if you have question about it go on a discord create a support ticket 
and when you create support ticket ask a question in it i want to try to help you as soon as possible like this video and i will see you in the next one